Jayla Rock, and I'm here with a flash review of the My Arcade mini arcade version of Elevator Action. And I have to say that I really like this line. I started collecting mini arcades at the beginning of COVID. It was my way to deal with things. And I really like this line. Um, I actually have a whole roll. If you've seen my videos, you'll see them in the background. Um, so this one I bought a while ago. I think I paid about $22 for it. At the time, a lot of them were going for $19. And one of the reasons why I liked it, just starting off looking at it, is I love the colors and the artwork. It may not be an exact replica of the arcade cabinet, but I would say that it looks pretty close and it looks really good. Um, the colors, the graphics, everything really matches. I love down here where the coin op would be. That's what you do. You push it in to turn it on. I'll show you more about that later. I just like the lines, the design, the sym sym uh, symmetry. All that looks really nice. Of course, the My Arcade logo. Um, if you turn it to the side, uh, I really like just, again, it has like a gloss shine to it. It feels good. It's really nice. Um, if you turn it to the back, uh, let's take a look at a few things here. First, up here, one of the things that I really like is that you can adjust the volume here. You can make it louder, you can make it less, and you can also mute it. So what I like about that is I like to show off and display these. So when I'm doing that, it's really cool to have it because it's silent and not making noise all day. Also, you have a headphone jack which you can plug in. Let's take a look inside of the batteries. It takes four AA batteries. Very standard, that's nice. But what's really sweet about that is that if you don't want to use batteries, you can plug it in with the mini USB 2 right here. And that's how I have mine set up down here below so that I can just plug it in and I'm able to play, have it just running all day. And like I said, the, the fact that you can mute it is nice. As far as sound, sounds speakers comes from here and I have to say it sounds really good. It doesn't really even sound as if it's coming from behind. It, it just sounds really good. Now there are some models of this that do like light up and such when you turn it on. Um, you know, as, as far as like up here, that's not the case. Um, in this case, this one is just as far as down here when you press it to turn on. But let's talk about buttons because I mean, if you actually want to play this more than display it, that's important too. One of the things that I like, listen to this. That sound, like it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break or, you know, I, I'm not gonna get good response time on that or anything like that, it feels good. Same thing with the, these buttons up here, it feels good. The joystick is really great and what's awesome is, look at this, you can take it off and then just use the D-pad and the D-pad feels good and comfortable as well. And then you can just screw it on. I prefer actually the, the using the, the, the joystick. So I actually like that. So the, as I said, the buttons, everything, the whole thing is like uh, 6.7 inches and the screen itself is 2.75 inches. So let's turn it on. Now here's the only part that I have a problem for. Let me just lift this up a little bit and zoom in a bit. And you'll see what I'm talking about because even though it has everything as far as the licensing, this is not a bootleg, it's a real licensing and everything, it is the arcade version. So let me just show you a little bit of that gameplay. So See, you hear the sound, it's not bad. You know, the movement and everything, it's like... I forgot that you actually push up to get him to... Oh! <laughs> that, that was totally my fault. But see, that that's the thing that I have about this model. Like, if, if I was trying to rate it, I would have most likely given it four stars. But, because it's using the NES ROM and not the arcade ROM, I, I just have to take a few points off because to me this is supposed to be an arcade cabinet not an NES cabinet but I've seen this now on sale for 30 bucks but I've also seen it as high as 50 bucks so it's up to you if you think it's worth it I liked it at the price point closer in the 20s but inflation's got us but if you like this video please you know check it out give us a like all that sub but until next time remember our motto no discount no deal